Hello, hi, it's your girl Pitsal Bakes, and welcome to my Q and A. And then get to know me. Please make sure to subscribe to this video. Thank you, and bye. <laughs> So welcome back to another video. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell as to whenever I upload a video. Now, today we are doing a get to know me. Cause you know, I've just been posting videos. And I just feel like you guys don't really know me. And we're gonna be snacking. Um sour starfish gummies. Got these from Dollar Tree. Girl. Girl. They nothing but good, like. Mmm. Got a little juice in the tour. But how y'all been doing? How's the holidays going? I'm out of school currently. Thank God. Um, so I'm chilling for now. I'm making content for you guys. We're gonna study make content. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, this is my Samsung Galaxy A01. So we're just gonna pop into the first question. Um, what made you start doing YouTube? Well, the funny thing about that is like, I've been off and on on YouTube for like three and a half years. I used to start when I was like 18, something like that. So really it's been like four and a half, but low key it's been three and a half years. Um, I was so consistent posting videos and I was switching up what my niche was and I wasn't really knowing what to do and what not to do. So it was just like, it was confusing for me. But at the same time, um, it made me start wanting to do it because I low-key wasn't confident at the time. So YouTube was just like a confident outlet. Like, hey, I can do this. I can achieve whatever I want to achieve. It's fun. People get to know me. People get to learn different topics and stuff like that. We get to engage with one another. So that's one of the main reasons why, you know, I wanted to do YouTube. What are your dreams and goals and aspirations? Well, I do want to become a writer. I've been working on, like an autobiography for me i've been working on children books i've been working on poetry books so it's just like i have work in the making but i haven't pushed that out there another thing is that i do want to become my own entrepreneur i want to own my own clothing line but also i'm switching my target as far as what i want to do in the business world so instead i would like to do shoes for people that have um bigger or wider feet such as myself i'm six feet so literally, I have to wear a 12 and a half, maybe a 13 in women, and men will have to be an 11 or 11 and a half. But yeah, I would like to cater to that. And I just want to like, you know, make people happy, make children happy, make elderly people happy. You know, that's what the world is about, basically. Also, just to elaborate, I was featured in this um, ebook magazine. I put a poem out there that was originally for my poem book. Um, I think it's called the Red Apple of Eden. I'll put it in the video. Um, yeah, so we won a competition. Um, I'm really happy because I didn't think nobody would want that poem. Um, that poem was really based on me having an anxiety attack. Um, recently this year, I was just going through a lot. And a lot of times when I write, I put whatever I'm going through in a piece of paper. Like, it's the best thing ever. And also, if you're going through anything, my greatest advice to you is writing it down writing a letter to god or writing poetry like just write that shit out i'm telling you it's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna make you feel so much better so writing it has been a huge outlet for me this candy good y'all get this a dollar tree how do you stay responsible in everyday life well for me this is gonna sound crazy, but like I'm a business major, so it's just like when you're in the business world or you you're just in your own world, period. You do have to be responsible when it comes to like not only yourself, but you know whatever you're trying to do, pay bills or make money or take care of your family or take care of yourself. Like literally, that comes with a lot of responsibility. Like I mean, when you're younger, you don't think that being responsible is important. But when you get older, like I'm saying, when you hit 18 you start to see so much shit like actually develop into like hey 
it's gonna change. Your world is gonna change, and you better pick it the fuck up. Like, you better get the stepping, because if you don't get the stepping, you're just left behind like the rest of a bunch of people. So being responsible is definitely important. What's one thing you love about yourself? This is one thing I really love about myself. It's always been like this since a kid. So I love being creative. That's just something about me. I love being creative. Like, I can always think about things differently. I kind of like my mom, like she lives um, drawing, painting. I love expressing myself through words and colors. So it's just like, yeah. And you know, all this, that, and the third. I used to like, create fashion designs and shit like that so it's just like i used to like make houses like make different rooms for the houses and stuff like that so i love having a creative outlet another thing that i love about myself is i love um i just love being you know ambitious every night when i sleep i always think about multiple ways of making you know um general income so that's just something about me like listen Every night before I go to bed, I'm just thinking about different ways to make money. That's, that's just on me. I've been like this since a kid. Um, since I've been wanting to start my own business. I started my business, like, my first business when I was young. We had a um, ice slush, ice cook, staying thing. Made money every week. Made around 50, starting to 80 every week. Oh, just a whole different ice cooks and all that. Um... We stopped due to like the kids moving out. But I think I started it when I was in my sophomore year in high school. Yeah. So those are the two things I love about myself, being creative and being ambitious. So yeah. And this came good. What are you? But this came real. It bombed. Dollar Tree. <laughs> What's one thing you would change about yourself? If there was one thing I would change about myself, honestly, it would be just giving my kindness to people that don't necessarily deserve it. But, but the reason why I wouldn't say I would change anything is because my mom says you have to kill people with kindness. So it's just like, no matter what a person does to you, you might as well just be kind. Kindness pays off so freaking much. Like, you being kind, you having positivity, no matter if a person looks you up and down, a person hates you, a person can be disgusted of you and you haven't done anything. You still smile in their face, say good morning, say how are you, and they don't speak. We don't care. Kindness prevails at the end of the day. That's what God wants us to do, be, to be kind, to be nice, to be caring. Even if somebody, you know, doesn't give a fuck. Even if somebody has us at the stake about to be dead, like, that kindness is gonna prevail, y'all. So I really wouldn't change anything. Before I get into fall, please make sure to get this candy, sour starfish gummies, available at Dollar Tree. The back is fun to me. I be finding so many snakes over there. My mom be finding so many. The back can literally reach out to a girl for me. I, I would, I would hook y'all up. Get this candy though. But the reason why fall is my favorite season is because. I love the leaves when they start to change colors. I love the aesthetic of fall, which is like brown, orange, burnt orange, um, a nice bright red, cranberry red, like all the fall colors, the black and the browns and the reds and the, the burgundies and the, you know, just the dark essence of grass turning a color. And there's also love in the air around fall time. Uh, you can get fall clothing for a reasonable price available at Sheen to move. Walmart, um, yeah, you can spend under $20, find you a good fall outfit, I'm not kidding, um, what else, like, fall is just a cool time, because you get to see people in their happiest moments, homecoming is around that time, for schools and colleges, um, you know, you get to, you know, be with your friends and family around that time, um, Halloween is around that time in fall, so it's just like, it's a lot of things. Yeah, and Halloween is also the reason why I love fall because Halloween is that month. So give me a scary movie, give me some snacks and my candy. I ain't going nowhere. That's that's just a fact. I ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, 
What helps you conquer every goal in life? This is gonna be a good question to answer. I would say God is the reason why I conquer everything in life. Like you have to stay prayed up. You have to pray 24 7, 365. If you don't, that's when demons start coming at you. But that's the real reason why I get to conquer everything in my life. Like from up and down. That's the main reason why I get to do everything I want to do. Y'all please get this candy. Please get this candy. Please get this candy. I'm not kidding. Get the candy. <laughs> I'm going to keep showing y'all. I'm going to take a screenshot and put it in the video. Y'all buy this candy at, you know, Dollar Tree. I'm pretty sure you're going to buy it though. Because my mom bought it at Dollar Tree. I'm going to put y'all on. And I got, a little, I got a little snack review coming up. Like, I got two drinks. Like, two sodas I never tried. Y'all going to live it. And there's one I want to try as well. I'll put that in the next video to come. Oh, so, yeah. You guys are going to be so happy about that. But thank you guys for making me get to 400 subscribers less than a month. Yeah, I've been supporting that girl. Like, I'm so happy about that. I didn't think anybody would, honestly, you know, love my channel or listen to my channel, you know, or tune in. Because a lot of people from Mississippi don't really get a lot of support. But I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. But like I said, God is the key to me conquering everything. If your bills ain't paid on time, God got you. If you ain't got no food, God got you. If you sick and not ill, God got you. If, if you just down and out and you fighting demons, God got you. Like, and shout out to Switch. Rest in peace, Switch. He was a beautiful man with a beautiful soul. Like, I always wanted to meet him. I'm sad that I didn't get a chance to meet him. Um, condolences to the family and friends and you know acquaintances that he may have had um, really sorry about that if anyone is going through anything the only thing I want to tell you is that God got you even if you feel like you ain't got nobody to talk to God freaking got you like you gotta pray that shit out because when you're feeling at your lowest, when you feel like you want to hurt yourself, that's nothing but the devil really just trying to say, I'm finna win. So what you got to do is just start reciting scripture, start saying God immediately, and you're going to be all right. We're going to be good. In the words of Kendrick Lamar, we're going to be all right. We're going to be just fine, okay? Like, it's all good. So thank you all so much. And we got that 400 subscriber celebration coming up. I don't know what I'm going to do for you guys. I really don't know. But I guess I'm gonna have like a mini party, like film it for myself and you guys. So you guys can party with me. Yeah, so I really don't know what we're gonna do. Might be a New Year's thing. But um, it's gonna be so much fun, guys. I can't wait. Um, so yeah. Family, friends, thank you so much for watching. Like, thank you, thank you, thank you from all of my heart. Um, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And I'll see you on the next video.